hi there welcome back to this channel i am glad to have you back and if you are new here my name is mariana and i picked up this hobby of building things out of free pallets during at home shelter due to COVID 19 here in new jersey these pallets are donated to me by bully zone in newark new jersey so shout out to them as always in today's video i am going to show you how i build this trash can storage with a green rooftop if you enjoy this video please make sure you subscribe you like and you leave a comment i already have plans to upgrade these projects and i cannot wait until you see that video too to get you started with this project, you are gonna need about 10 pallets. I personally like my pallets for a project like this to be uh, almost as new or fresh wood, I will say. Each pallet measures four feet tall, 40 inches wide and five inches in depth. You are gonna need two pallets for the rooftop two for the floor, two for the side walls, and two for the back. The total uh, time, it's gonna be about two to three hours because once you have the materials ready to go, it's just gonna be basic drilling and screwing and a little bit of cutting and a little bit of uh, stapling. Also, uh, make sure that you your area where you are gonna place this project if you are like me uh, you're gonna have to clean it out as you could see me here this is the space where i'm gonna place uh, the storage and i had a lot of uh, width growing and it was a big mess and i had to make sure to even out the dirt here you see me that I'm figuring out which pallets I'm gonna use for the back and which ones I'm gonna use for the front and basic uh, selecting the pallets that I have at home. All right, I figured out that I'm gonna use two pallets in the back and that one on that side and this one on this side because I'm trying to have my recycle bin in here, um, the paper, the plastic, and the regular garbage cans and sometimes we actually have two garbage cans that i've been using throughout all my projects that consist pallets uh, i was at home depot yesterday i was trying to research uh any other screw nails that i can use but to be honest with you this has been working the best for me now um as you know i'm a single mom i like diy projects I picked up the pallet projects through COVID-19 as a hobby. And if you work in construction or you are a good handy person and you found any other sort of screw that's working for you that you think it will be better for me, let me know, put it on the comments below. Start drilling, I wanna show you that you gotta make sure to find a piece of wood that you can attach this with. So if you take a look, I wanna attach this to this. And then this one right here right and this one that one and that one okay so let me give you another look okay those are the ones that I'm gonna be attaching together I want to share a little bit about the measurements of this now from that corner to this corner it's 75 inches so I'm thinking in building a platform not quite sure yet on the bottom um, then these pallets are four feet tall, okay? And then they're um, five uh, inches wide. So from here to here, you have five inches. So five inches in depth, I guess. That's five inches in depth. Four feet tall. And then you have about 40 inches that way, okay? So those are the measurements that I'm looking at. I made a mistake. I was uh, meditating, actually I was having lunch and I'm like, why is this measure one thing and that one another one? What is it that is wrong? And by peeking through my window, I realized that I put this one through the back instead of right here. So I'm gonna take that and put it back here, okay? You see how that one is? You see it? I did it the opposite here. 
therefore the floor is measuring differently and I really want to add that floor on the bottom so that's what I'm about to do take it and put it again put it back again if the place where you are going to be locating your project doesn't have a hard floor like concrete, the best suggestion I have for you is to use these heavy duty trash bags that you could get from Home Depot. Lay them on the bottom to avoid any future width from growing through your floors. Here you see me that I'm using a whole pallet and then I cut another one at 30 inches long and I'm going to repeat the same process for the rooftop that's all you're going to need for top for the rooftop and the right, floor so i'm thinking a lot of how to do this because as i said before i like to plant and i'm going to use this space to plant flowers but i also wanted to make a rooftop that i can plant and i've been thinking what is the best way to do that the reason I was thinking that is because if I put dirt on top, it's going to create a lot of weight. So how am I going to hold the weight and still use the bottom for what I originally intended, which is to pull my garbage cans to keep it away from my dogs. And I thought about what about if I use more pallets? Remember that I'm all about to use what it's at home, what's free, what's frugal or what's uh, minimal expenses. So that's what we're gonna do. We are going to uh, nail the pallet against the other pallets. And that's how I wanna create our base. The only material that I ended up buying at Home Depot that cost me $6.47 each is two pieces of wood, as you can see here, one that I put in the front top and the other piece I put on the bottom front. And each piece of wood measures one by six so by eight. One pallet, just like we did on the bottom, and another half here and we put screws around so actually this is so he heavy so resistant is the right word that i'm trying to look now as always i first scattered my garage for extra wood and i found still these pieces of wood that i just cut at 18 inches so from here to here it's 18 inches and we're going to slide them down and show you how that comes out. it, put in the roof on top. And now I'm going to lay out plastic bags and staple them. And then I'm going to lay out dirt. Now, eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover these areas right here with wood so I can plant around as well. But for now, because I went to Home Depot and they didn't have a lot of flowers or herbs or anything else because we're in August, I'm just going to plant whatever i found and the reason i like this here it's because i'm growing lettuces and i think it will be very cute if i put the lettuce this way and perhaps here something else so it gives me sections that i can plant different stuff so that's the rooftop one tip that i want to show you is because we have a rectangle on top of a rooftop Make sure you cut this part of the bag straight and then you cut it the way uh, you saw us do it with masking. So that's what I'm gonna do. So then I have a perfect rectangle. Right? Cut. I started dumping this, I wanted to show you these are the only thing that I found in Home Depot. And the other thing is I'm going to be using all-purpose padding mix because it helps me with the amount of water that goes in so I don't overwater. So make sure this is what you are using for pots. I don't know how many I'm going to need. I bought three bags, but I'm going to try to stretch it out too. Let's get to it. I am a very organic person and what I mean by that is I literally love to feel the materials 
um, that I'm working with. I love to feel the dirt and this is why you don't see me wearing gloves. Same thing when I was creating my palette bar, you could see that with my hands I'm working uh, with the material that I was using. So go ahead and take a look at how I built that palette bar. I love to feel the plants, the flowers, uh, and the things that I'm growing. I love the experience. This is how it looks. And these are the lettuces that I've been growing in my window. I only got four. And my flowers for now. So that's the rooftop. That's what we have so far. And next, I have to figure it out how to fill this in. And we'll be all done. This is how I'm creating the platform. I'm taking apart one pallet and I am building the platform on the bottom. So as you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five more to go. Um, it's getting dark outside, but I will show you how it looks like tomorrow in the morning. I am super excited. You like your ice cream, Coco? It's really hot today. Hard work, huh? We've been working hard. Yeah? So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share with a friend, and stay tuned for more projects in our backyard. Love you guys.